Hey what's up guys, myself Sapni Srivastava and welcome back to your YouTube channel. So as you are following me from a long time, you have seen that I made a lot of videos on how to run the Kali Linux on Android phone. Whether the first video is on how to run the Kali Linux using the Linux deploy for the rooted smartphone. Or whether it will be running the Kali Linux using the Limbo Simulator or for running it on any unordered smartphone using the Termax app. I made a lot of videos on how to run the Kali Linux on Android phone but till that time there was not any official release given by the Kali Linux itself to run the Kali Linux on Android phone. But the best part is that few days ago Kali Linux updated an official post from their official site that how to run the Kali Linux on any Android phone. So this method is the official method given by the Kali Linux itself. And the best part of this method is that you will be able to run the latest Kali Linux 2019.4 and that will be the full PC version that you normally use on your PC or laptop. And the time when you will fully install the Kali Linux on Android phone, there are some important tools that you normally comes on the PC version of the Kali Linux will also come pre-installed in this Android method. Okay, so before starting this video guys, I have a small request to all of you. So first of all, go to the description, you will find a link to my Instagram ID. Just Go and follow me there and you can just message anything regarding the issue that you are facing while following the instruction given in this video. You can just go and message me there and I will try to help as much people I can. So without wasting more time, let's get into it. So guys, first of all you need to download some apps and after that you have to follow the instruction that I am going to show you. So just go to the description, there will find a link to this website, here you can see, which is the NetHunter, uh, which is the official store of the NetHunter and from here download the store app. So it will download and install the NetHunter uh, official store app. Okay, now you can see it. So you can see it's downloaded now. Now click on the open and you can see this is the NetHunter Restore app. Click on the install to install it. Now you can see the installation is complete. Now click on open. So you can see. So you have to download several apps. The first one is the NetHunter Kex. You can see this is the app. So just open this app in the NetHunter official store app and after that just search for this app and click on install you can see it's downloading and after that it will open something like this and just click on the settings and click on allow from this source and click on the back button now you have the installation menu of the NetHunter Kex click on install and wait for the installation to complete so now the NetHunter Kex is installed now the second thing you need to download and install is the Termex app and I know many of you have already installed it and if you don't have it just download and install it from here. And the next thing is the hackers keyboard. Okay. So also download and install this keyboard and after that go back to your home screen and open Termex you can see you can see now it's open now the first thing you need to do here is the update and upgrade all the packages of the Termex app okay and now install one app called FIS or one package which is called FIS so I am installing it because it helps a lot while typing the long commands. It automatically suggests the command. So you will not need to type it completely. So it is for your convenient. So just download and install this package. Ok so now you can see the face is installed. Now just type your face and hit enter. Now you can see. Now type clear. Ok. So now we are on the uh, our terminal. Now the next thing you need to do is just uh, go to the description and there will find the link to this web page. Uh, let me open. Okay, so this one is the so this is the official website of Kali Linux, and I will put on the link of this website. So this web page uh, shows you that how to install the Kali. Linux 
the full version Kali Linux, which is the Kali Linux 2.19.4, which is the latest one, on your smartphone without rooting it, with all the features that you normally use on your PC. So this is the official method which is given by the Kali Linux itself. So you can just follow the uh, blog here and follow it, or even you can just follow with me and install it on your smartphone. Now you can see. So firstly, just type the first com uh, copy and paste the first command, which is termx setup storage. Just copy that command, open the termx app again, and just paste the command and hit enter. You can see it will ask you allow termx to access photos, medias, or or not. So just click. On the allow. Now go back to the same page and now install the wget. Just copy this second line like this and go back, just paste it here like this and hit enter. Type Y. And enter. Just go back to the previous page and just copy the third command. Just copy it from the wget and copy it up to third line like this and click on the copy and after that just open the Termex app again like this and paste the command and hit enter you can see so we started the download process so it will take little bit of time and now you can see it's done so it will simply download a script file which will help you to download the all the files required for running the Kali Linux you can say this is the script file which is installed in it under Termex and as you know that it is a script it need to be executed so for that you need to just give in a command here ch mode so just type this command ch mode triple seven and the name of the package which is the install in it under Termex so this is the script that you want to run and this is the permission that you are going to give it now again when you run the same command ls minus l now it has the permission of execute for all the users so now you can easily run it and install the Kali Linux so just click on the dot and slash and after that just uh, type the same command here dot slash and install hyphen net hunter hyphen termx and hit enter so it will open something like this Okay, let me rotate the screen for you. Okay, so from here now you can see everything clearly. So it will take little bit of time to download. So here I can see the download process is now completed. And as you can see here is that the percentage is completed to 100%. And now after the download process will complete, it will verify the integrity of the rootfs and after that it will extract the rootfs file and later on it will ask you to whether to delete the downloaded rootfs file or not so just for your convenience just type here n so that the file will be still with you so in case if there will be any issue so you will not be needed to download the same file again okay just type here n and after that hit enter okay so you can see now you are on this screen and after that you need to just type here the first command which is the net hunter P A S S W D. So this is for only the first time when you run the Red uh, Thunder or the Kali Linux. So this will set up the password for your VNC server, which will you later on going to use to connect to the VNC server or the GUI of the Kali Linux. Okay. 
So let's type here this command net hunter kex password which is the p a w s w d and hit enter. So we're going to ask you for an password. So I am going to give here a very simple password that will be the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. So you can give any password. I am giving the 1 to 8 numbers as a password and I am going to verify it again. So now I will ask you whether you want to set a view only password. So I am not going to set any view only password. Just type here N and hit enter and if you want to set any view only password you can just type their y and hit any other password now you have to type here another command just type here net hunt kicks and and so what it will do it will start a vnc server which will help you to connect to the gui of the Linux so you can see so this is the port number which is open right now now you have to connect to the local host of your smartphone so using the VNC server you will be able to connect to the GUI or desktop of the Kali Linux so just remember the port number which is 5901 and for you most of the for most of you it may be the same and whatever the port number just remember it and after that just uh, open the NetHunter Kex app that you installed earlier this is the NetHunter Kex app and here in the connection settings this will be the set as default local host don't change it and in the section of the port number just type the port number that you just remembered 5901 okay and in the password you have to type the password that you set earlier so as I shown you I set the password 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 it so whatever the password you set it earlier you have to type it here again and you when you can give the vnc user name which is an optional and even you can give the vnc server name so it is an optional okay now after that just click on this connect button so what will you see this is the desktop of the kali linux and this is the latest kali linux 2019.4 and it is a full pc version that you normally use on your pc or laptop and you can see so this is the recent change in the Kali Linux 19.4. They removed the uh, sidebar which you normally use in the previous version of the Kali Linux. Now it is very basic uh, GUI which you normally use in the XFC uh, edition of the Kali Linux. So just select on this and you will find all the tools which comes pre-installed. So first of all let's go to the information gathering. You will find the nmap or pof and recon ng. In the vulnerability analysis you will find the nmap. In the web application analysis, you will find the burp suit or SQL map and in the database assessment, you will find the SQL map. In the password attacks, you will find the zone and in the wireless attacks, you will find the aircrack ng or kismet or mdk3 and there are several other tools that you normally use on your PC. In the reverse engineering, you will find the nesam cell and in the exploitation tool, you will find the Armitage or deep XSS framework or Metasploit framework so as you know that Armitage is the latest version of the Metasploit framework or whether it is with the GUI version of the Metasploit framework so you can even use all those things on your Android phone and if you followed my uh, YouTube channel from the long time you have seen that I already uploaded a video on how to hack Android phone over the WAN or over the local area network using the Metasploit framework but because of the YouTube community guidelines I was not able to uh, keep it for a long time it was deleted by the youtube but even you can just uh, search on the youtube or on the google to know how to use the metasploit framework for hacking any android phone okay now go to the sniffing and spoofing you will find some other tools here so the most of the tools that you normally use on your pc or laptop can be easily able to run on it so for your uh, testing purpose i'm going to just open one tool here so i will i'm going to open the burp suit here so just to make you see that how much time it's going to take to open any tool so it is in a community edition of the burp suit which is a free edition so you have to simply click on the ok and here you have to select on the close to not update it right now let me first of all zoom it now select a temporary any project and click on the next and after that start burp you can see it's starting the burp suit so it will take little bit of time not a lot of the time it just depends on your smartphone uh, processor or ram 
so you can see it's fully open now so it's like a normal bulb suit that you normally use on your pc or laptop so let me close this one i would like to tell you do one more thing just open the official net hunter web page or the kali net documentation page from where i shown you to follow the instruction just open it again and from here you will find some tips for you so first of all as i told you earlier that if you want to install the full kali linux version so you will have to need a very good amount of storage in your smartphone and after that just install and after that just run this command apt install kali hyphen linux hyphen full and run this command and it will install the full kali linux with all the tools that you normally use on your pc so the previous version that i shown you earlier is the light version of the kali linux and it has uh, the most of the tools that you normally use but if you want all the tools you simply need to type this command and hit enter but make sure that you have a very good amount of storage on your smartphone one more thing i like to add here is that it may be possible that for you the firefox will not work so for that case it mostly happen for those phone which is not rooted so for that situation you simply need to type the apt hyphen re uh, remove firefox uh, esr so it will remove the firefox and after it is install the chromium uh, chromium browser so to install it just type apt install chromium and after that it may be possible that you face uh, any problem regarding launching the chromium you can just follow the instruction given here that just right click on the chromium and edit the application and change the command to the uh, this following instruction that is user bin chromium hyphen hyphen and space no and hyphen sandbox space and percentage u so just type this thing and after that when you click on the chromium it will be easily able to launch and there are some other tips that you need to follow if you want the better performance of this kali linux Okay guys so thanks for watching this video and if you face any issue regarding this video any uh, any problem that you are facing you can just comment on below or even you can just go and follow me on the my instagram and message me there i will try to help as much people i can okay so guys thanks for watching this video have a good day and good luck and bye take care